folks we're gonna get right into this but first just give me 30 seconds for this quick capitalism break so i can tell you about this free coin offer now something's not adding up is it stocks are at record highs but the government just borrowed five trillion dollars inflation is transitory but it just went up to 6.8 percent how much did your wages go up gas electricity a precious metals ira with noble gold will help you to avoid the worst of this and this month noble gold is giving away a free america the beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com just make sure to tell them drone tech sent you you can also use the link in the description or pinned comment have you ever noticed that when a Republican breaks from their party, the Democrat state media holds that Republican up as a heroic maverick? John McCain, for example, loved the media and the media loved him. And I want to reform government and I want to reform the corrupt campaign finance system that is that is having such pernicious effect uh, in Washington. Well, however brave a stand campaign finance reform may be, members of your own party have rejected it. What's the matter with them? Why don't they get it? <laughs> Said he has this remarkable appeal. He's a down the line conservative. He's voted for every item of the contract for America. And yet he has this appeal uh, to centrists and even some liberal Democrats in many but ways. He is evolving. A lot of Democrats say a dream ticket would be if John Kerry would reach <laughs> across the aisle, take you as a vice presidential candidate. It's hard to imagine. They'd have to be uh, taking some steroids, oh, I but, think. But, but, but let, me, let, me let me imagine <laughs> that it was done. Seven years of talk about repeal and replace done in one hand gesture. Probably much was made of that yeah. moment, a moment of moral courage, a man staring down his own mortality yet again, not the first time in his life. Uh, but let's also talk about the courage of Murkowski of Alaska and Collins of Maine, because without those two women, there is no moment like that for John McCain. My question to you, is that kind of courage for people uh, cheering them on going to be contagious? He has prided himself over a very long career on being somebody who takes courageous stands. Yep, uh, it certainly was a McCain moment. Well, that is until he offered minimal criticism of the Obama administration. Then he became a racist. Now that John McCain has, has sunk his teeth in, and frankly, it's outrageous that there is this witch hunt going on on the right about these people of color, let's face it, around this president. You're saying that, that, that McCain's being driven by racial prejudice here. There is no other way to look at this. You can see the exact same thing for members of the media. You won't find many, if any, conservative or right-leaning journalists who are getting Pulitzer Prizes, for example. Unless, of course, that conservative is known for going after their own side. And Kathleen, I'm sure the entire right wing of American politics is going to hoist you on their shoulders <laughs> now because you won a Pulitzer Prize. How exciting. I don't, I don't think it's going that way, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't there, think so. Uh, you know, it, it's only because uh, I'm a, a, a conservative basher that I'm now recognized after 23 years of toiling in the fields, right? Well, look around the media. The only Republicans that you see are rapidly anti-Republican. I mean, like outside of Fox News or Newsmax. Where's all the anti-Democrat Democrats in the media? They don't exist. Now that we've established how well the media treats anti-Republican Republicans, take a look at how they treat Democrats Democrats who break from the party. Go ahead. Does the president feel betrayed by his friends? Senator Joe Manchin's home state Manchin today saying no way to yet another potential climate change provision in the president's sweeping social programs package. But back home in West Virginia, climate change has become a growing threat to West Virginians. Senator Joe Manchin is blocking the most aggressive climate change legislation in U.S. history. Senator Joe Manchin, one of the key lawmakers blocking the most aggressive parts of climate legislation that would drastically curb greenhouse emissions linked to climate change, is currently ranked the top congressional recipient of campaign donations from the coal, mining, and fossil fuel industry. Last thing before we go tonight, Kirsten Cinema is back in the news and getting talked about a lot tonight, which always seems Seems kind of fine with Kirsten Cinema. Late today, she and her wingman Joe Manchin had the latest in what seemingly have become daily meetings in the Oval Office with the president, all the while assuring us it's not about them. Except that today, when she took her turn presiding over the U.S. Senate, it was about her and her choice of clothing. Ron Filipkowski posted it saying, quote, at this point, she's just telling us she doesn't give a blank anymore. Manchin confronted by climate activists yesterday over his opposition to the spending bill. We want to live! 
With moderate senators still not on board, Arizona's Kirsten Cinema, who was followed this weekend by progressive activists, from a classroom where she teaches into a restroom where they continued to confront her and record her even as she went into a bathroom stall. I don't think they're appropriate tactics, but it happens to everybody. Just this week, Democratic leaders put paid family leave back in the bill because it's extremely popular. And once again, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin immediately all over it. What? I'm from West Virginia. I'm not from where they're from. And they can just beat the living crap out of people and think they'll be submissive. Period. I will know. You know, I always love it when someone says, I'm West Virginia. We don't back down to anything. People from all 50 states will say that, right? I People mean, in Connecticut, yeah. Berman, do not back down. I'm from right? Connecticut. We don't back down. That's why they call us the nutmeg state. <laughs> um, and we're all from America, right? right He's right. from America, too. That's what Imagine I mean. That. I mean, you know, what it's does like that mean? One state doesn't back down more than another. Senator Joe Manchin dealing with what could be a fatal blow to President Biden's Build Back Better plan. The move blindsiding the White House. Tonight, a potentially fatal blow to President Biden Biden's massive social spending and climate plan. This is a no. There is no way around it. This is a potentially fatal blow to the president's domestic agenda. In a new letter this morning, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says that despite Manchin's objections, the Senate will consider the Build Back Better bill at some point in the new year so that, quote, every member of this body has the opportunity to make their position known on the Senate floor, not just on television. Tony, that is the definition in this town of a sick burn. <laughs> this all stems from the fact, obviously, that our media is not a free press. It's geared towards spreading propaganda to fulfill an agenda, a Democrat Party agenda that's treated as if it's above scrutiny or criticism, as if it's a good idea simply because of who it came from. It's just another reason not to trust anything they say. Thanks for watching, folks. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then let me know what you think in the comments.